Hey guys, this is Gabriel. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, guys, I'm about to show you how to significantly lower your ping and even get zero ping without actually moving closer to the server. Now, I know a lot of you might have heard that moving closer to the server is the only way to get zero ping. But let me tell you that that's not really true. I'm going to be showing you the before and after results of how I managed to go from a really high ping to getting absolutely constant zero ping. And by the end of this video, I promise you that no matter where you live, you're going to be able to get zero ping without actually having to move move closer to the server now before i go ahead and begin the video i want to let you guys know that i have collaborated with raid shadow legends and we're going to be distributing a massive fifty thousand v bucks among everyone that participates you heard that right guys the crazy thing about this giveaway is that you don't even have to be a winner all you have to do is just participate and you're going to leave home with a certain amount of v bucks in your wallet right away now let me just explain to you guys how this is going to work so all you have to do to participate is just download raid shadow legends from the link given in the description box down below and then once you've actually downloaded it just go ahead and open it up and then once you open it up you're going to be receiving an in-game mail stating the amount of v bucks that you've won it's that easy guys now with that being said without any further ado let's just get straight into the video and let me show you guys how to get zero ping instantly all right now to begin with let me just show you guys the ping that i have right now so that we can compare it to the ping that i'm going to be getting later on in the video so as you guys can see uh the least amount of ping that i can get right now is on middle east servers and that is 48 milliseconds of ping and this is the lowest that i can get on any server right now and as you guys can see even if i set it up on auto it still remains the same and also just so you guys know that this is absolutely real i'm filming this with my mobile phone camera and as you guys can see um i'm still getting 48 ping and this is where I'm at right now. All right, now with that being said, let me just begin with the tutorial. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just close Fortnite and open Google Chrome. And this is basically the site that you wanna go to. It's called Ping Plotter. Now you can use any other site that you want that can diagnose internet problems, but I just like Ping Plotter as it um, gives you the most accurate results. So you can download this. Um, there's a 14 day free trial. I've already downloaded it guys, so I'm just gonna open it up. Now, this is what you're gonna see right after you open Ping Plotter. So you just wanna ping onto google.com and you're just gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait for an IP address to show packet loss. And as you guys can see, the packet loss is right here uh, on the second IP address. So what you basically wanna do is just write this down so just make sure you have have this written uh just take note of it i'm going to tell you guys what to do with it later on in the video but for now just copy it down somewhere now again this is my connection yours is going to be something else so make sure you copy yours down and not mine guys just to be clear now once this is done just close it and the next thing they're going to do is go on to search and open control panel and go on to network and sharing center just click on it and go on to change adapter settings to your left and right click on ethernet just make sure you're connected to an ethernet cable first of all guys right click and go on to properties and then click on configure go on to advanced and then what you want to do right here guys is just disable energy efficient ethernet what this is going to do is it's going to maximize the potential of your ethernet cable now the second thing that you want to do is just disable green ethernet as well and then once you've done these two things, just go into properties once again, and then click on internet protocol version, and then select properties, and then click on this option right here, guys. It's gonna say use the following DNS server address. Now I'm gonna be entering a few values and that's exactly what you have to enter on your screen as well. So for the primary DNS, you're gonna be entering 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And for the secondary DNS, it's gonna be 8.8.4.4. And you're gonna have to check this box right here and then click on okay. And then once this is done, just close this down. Just wait for uh, Windows to detect problems. Um, and then go back, go all the way back and open your Epic Games Launcher. And then once you open the Epic Game Launcher, you're gonna have to go on to settings and then scroll down, click on Fortnite, and then just check this box right here. And right after you check the box, you're gonna see a command prompt pop up. And this is what you're gonna be entering in the command prompt. So it's gonna say hyphen, and then reject client slash. And remember the IP address that you copied down initially in the video, guys? That's what you're gonna be entering right here in this command prompt. So just go back. 
Now, before you actually launch the game, there's one last thing that you have to do. So just go on to search and then enter command prompt. So just open your Windows command prompt and you're going to be entering the exact same thing that you see on the screen. So just write IP config add slash and then write flush DNS. Press enter. Close this and launch Fortnite. All right, now I'm just going to skip the loading part and meet you guys straight at the lobby. All right, now once you're in the lobby, just go on to settings. And as you guys can see, I've literally got a one ping on Middle East servers where initially I was getting 48 ping. And to be honest, this is absolutely crazy that we've been able to lower our ping by so much without actually moving closer to the server. Now, let me just start a creative game and show you guys my in-game ping. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the ping that I have right now. And it's almost zero. And now it's actually zero. So that was pretty much how you get zero ping in Fortnite. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like to this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding anything, just leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to help you guys out. With that being said, thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.